Today's adventure brings us to a very rainy and traffic filled San Francisco, California. This is the destination, at least the starting point. Pier 33. Watch out, he's getting loose, climbing over the barbed wire. In order to get across to the island, we have to take this boat, a cruise ship of sorts. In 1995-96, Michael Bay woke up one day wanting to make the world better. And he thought, you know what, in order for the world to remember me, I'm, I'm going to make a movie none other than the man, the myth, not the legend, Nicolas Cage and Cl uh, not Clint Eastwood, uh, Sean Connery, right? Yeah. The Rock. Welcome everyone, Adam uh, the Woo here. I have successfully made it to Alcatraz quite possibly the most famous prison in the world. This is something I've wanted to do for a heck of a long time. Made very popular through books, TV shows, and history specials. Always been fascinated by it. And now I'm here. I'm gonna wander around and explore. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? If you were to escape its walls, which would be very difficult, you would have to swim across the very chilly waters for quite a ways to reach land. Different eras of the island and to preserve history they have left some of the graffiti up on the water tower during one of those periods of time when it sat abandoned. It was taken over for a bit. There goes the tram up the hill. That would be very convenient if you don't want to climb the steepness of that road. According to the placard, in 1970, this and a few other structures on property were burned. There's still a little bit of the, the walls left, however. Even had an active power plant. And check out the roof. They spelled it out for air traffic to know exactly what they were flying over. There's a guard watching from up there. Some of the original broken glass still behind those bars and the sign still remains. The daily routine consisted of waking up at 6.30 a.m. You had some breakfast, then a work detail, then a few other things. You had a rest period, lunch around 11.40, then out to the recreation yard, then a little bit more work, supper at 4.25, Return to cells, final lockup at 4.50, lights out at 9.30 after the inmate count was completed. Quite a view through these windows as well as I stick the camera up to the dirty glass and peek out, you will notice a very iconic San Francisco structure there in the distance. Speaking of views, if you were working here in the electric shop, get a pretty good one of the bay. Used as a library in the early 1900s, this first building closest to me and the one connected was a schoolhouse for a little bit, for a short while. Some of the areas are under renovation for future enjoyment. It wasn't just the inmates who resided here, but also the guards, their families, and Sometimes even children were roaming right around in here. Even though the most epic view of the city is probably from up top that lighthouse, but this one's not too shabby either. Wow. 
take a look at that. That's awesome. The hustle and bustle of a major metropolis happening just in eye shot. It's a pretty nice skyline. Quite a bit of rubble here at the bottom level. I think it's time to start heading upward towards the top. Its original use was for storing gunpowder, but later on it was used as a morgue up until 1963. That's where the bodies would have lain in preparation, right there on that slab. All right, it's now time to head into the main prison, The Rock. Break the rules, you go to prison. Break the prison rules, you go to Alcatraz. to be sleeping down there. A little slumbering is going on and all his personal items up on the shelf. Looks as if this cell belonged to an artist of sorts. See his work scattered all through the room. And on a much smaller scale, these shelves are empty, but there is a watercolor set down here next to the mattress. Some of the famous inmates. Among them. The more Robert, famous Robert Stroud. He was the bird man, correct? Yeah, that's right. The famous bird man of Alcatraz. Mm -hmm. And then we have George Kelly here. He was another one that's very notable. Mm -hmm. And John Anglin? Is yep. that how you pronounce his name? Yep. John Anglin, Clarence Anglin, and Frank Morris here. And they were the ones who escaped, correct? Yeah, Break. however, we haven't found any official trace of whether or not they actually made, succeeded in getting out. We haven't found any bodies washing ashore, at least. So if you find them, you're getting $3 million. Oh, there's a three, there's a $3 million reward. You got it. For these gentlemen, right? Well, they're not gentlemen, but these three guys. Well, right either way, they certainly um, earned their keep if they managed to escape. Most people find Al Capone first and yeah, I, com first. I completely missed him. That's okay, you're the first. I got overly excited about the bird man. Yeah, no, it's all good. And even though he he was he loved he loved birds, he did not like people. Well, he was willing to go look at their diseases. He also didn't really mind that they made a mess in his cell back in Leavenworth. He did not keep birds here in Alcatraz. But when it came time for some people trying to appeal to him getting out of prison because of his bird research, he basically said, well, no, all my research has been rendered invalid because of penicillin. You put them in whichever cell you need to, and if it's not really controlled by any bureaucracy, you can easily switch them to another cell at will, which is useful because you don't know which prisoners would go well together, which ones would just cause trouble when they're together, or what have at you. One of Al Capone's current cells, however, is if you go to that pillar over there, and, it, and then you go look up at the second story of cells, his cell will be the only open cell you see up on the second story of it. I was just informed that the only open cell on the second level of this section, notice how they're all closed except this one. This belonged for a very short while to Al Capone. He was moved around a lot, but they can confirm that this one open cell, Capone, spent a little short tenure. And while here at Alcatraz, if you were to enjoy a meal from the kitchen here, in 1963, the 21st of March to be exact, you would have dried cereals, steamed wheat, scrambled eggs, fresh milk, stewed fruit, toast, bread, butter, and even some coffee. Yeah, look again, the knives oh, aren't there. The knives are, they've just, removed the knives. They're paid on so the yeah. prisoners can't steal them. Yeah, it's an illusion, it's see? It's just, it's, just it's just paint. There's no real weapons or knives in that kitchen, which makes it very difficult for cutting up these vegetables and fruits. From this angle, I have a good view of the Golden Gate Bridge, but if you were down there playing horseshoes against that wall, you would not be able to see over it to get the quite perspective. 
only from up here in the mess hall can you can you see it. If you ended up in solitary confinement, you wouldn't be in one of those cells, but one of the lower level ones with extra doors that close in around the bars, which makes it very dark back in here. Once these doors are closed, it would be very hard to see in there. You'd be at one with your thoughts in the shadows for a very long period of time. It'd be tough to deal with. To make things more convenient, there is a cutoff that you can walk through. Wait, wait a second. Oh, the cutoff. Okay, the cutoff been cut off. If you had a visitor, you would show up to these windows and look through this glass. Say family, friends, relatives, lovers who come see you. You would talk to them through a hole similar to this one. They would be on the opposite side. Right there. This is the creepy hallway located between the two cell blocks. So on the left and right would be where the inmates are and this is just pipes and darkness stretching as far as the eye can see. The control room, everything dated back to a former time period, including this thermos, the microphone. Check out that pack of camels there on the counter. Perspective from the top of the hill, pan around very slowly. A boat in the bay, the cityscape of San Francisco. And the lighthouse. Definitely a cool experience standing up here. I don't just mean the crisp air that is now blowing in my face. I just mean the it's awesome being here. This is one of those places you always hear about, but never, never really know if you're gonna make it in your lifetime. And I did. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Faintly shown on this weather-worn placard, the warden's house of what it looked like then versus what it looks like now. The structure's still here, and they've also placed a little garden area. He certainly had a pretty good view from up here. And there's this fireplace where you would have a, a nice little blaze going on those chilly evenings. Circa 1952, this model is 1 32nd size. Get the layout of the land from a bird's eye perspective. The rock. A vast amount of merchandise is available in the gift shop as well. Everything to your heart's content. Some sticker sheets, old school pennants, even some children's books and puzzles for $11.95. Take home an inmate cup. Put it in your cupboard. Wet your whistle. Former inmate William Baker is here signing copies of the book he wrote about his experiences at the prison. This represents this most heavily armed period from 1865 to 1868. 108 guns were mounted all around the shoreline. Some cannon powder, cannon balls, and some of the period era wardrobe. We did it. We're now officially junior rangers. How do you feel? I had the powers already going to my head. I bet some of the prisoners wish they could have purchased this and use it. Erase your mistakes. Notice the name of this barge. It goes from the mainland to the island. Nicknamed 
solitary. It makes sense. This boat is rocking back and forth. I'm holding the camera still. Just see it sway in there. Gotta get your sea legs standing on this thing. Back and forth. There goes a bird. There goes a bird. Robert Stroud would be proud. There is one random wave making its way directly towards us. Look, it's like, it's not stopping. It's like, it's just a random wave in the bay. It's coming for us. It's coming. After getting off the ship there are a couple other displays and a little bit more information here some of the escape attempts one of them the inmates use this fake head to pretend that they were in their cell when in reality it was just a it was just a fake head a much larger model up here on the mainland pretty cool of course the building there on the far end is now abandoned as is this gutted by fire and the warden's residence right there in the center of your screen also just a shell of what it once was as well as all these structures here towards the front that was all the rubble that you could see up there on the side of the hill interesting fact the last convicts were taken off march 21st 1963 Escape from Alcatraz happened. Sea lions are making quite a ruckus. Don't pay any attention to them though. Look very, very closely. The lighthouse is quite operational. You can faintly see it. Wait for it, wait for it. went by one more time wait for it just wait there it goes that's going to do it for today if you're new here please subscribe by doing so it helps keep you in the loop up to date on future adventures i will be going on endeavors in my life as well as uploads here on this channel 
And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. How's it going? Don't be shy. Look, come on. Don't be shy. You want to say hello? Everyone's watching. Say hi. There you go, but look at me when you talk. Look at look this direction. The camera's over here. Repeat yourself. Don't look at the sea lions, look at me. No! They're camera shy. What are you up to today? Just hanging around? Would you like to say anything to the camera? Everyone's watching. Say hello. Say something. No, don't shake. You don't want to say anything? That was a no, huh? Notice the name of this barge that goes from the mainland to the island. Named Solitary. Solitary. I can't talk. <laughs>